Welcome to the Anxiety Coaches Podcast, a relaxing and informative show where we explore anxiety, panic, and PTSD, sharing how you can overcome them for life. Aloha, welcome back to the Anxiety Coaches Podcast. I'm your host and coach, Gina Ryan, and I am so happy to be with you again today as together we can consider the many ways to bring your mind and body back to its natural peace and calm. In today's episode, I want to talk about the power of mindful breathing in your daily activities to really help you ease the pain in your body and in your mind. So let's ease the pain and the anxiety. So recently here at ACP, we had an email from someone who was asking about chronic pain interfering with anxiety recovery and being able to use the tools. And I so get this. When you have chronic pain, it can be almost impossible or it feels like it's impossible to focus and be able to use the tools that we talk about here so that you can recover, get yourself out of the wormhole. And one of the ways that we can ease ourselves into the practices and the tools we talk about here is through our breath. We are already breathing all day, every day, and we will continue to do so. So let that breath be your anchor into a more peaceful and calm way of being. In the chaotic dance of life, I'm telling you, we know, like, I have pictures of what people think healing looks like and what it actually looks like. And a dance is a nice way to put it, but a chaotic dance is more what it feels like, where stress and anxiety take center stage. So we want to be able to find moments of tranquility, and these become paramount in our ability to build. We're just placing one brick at a time. Don't think about being better tomorrow or going from A to Z. All you want to do is lay one brick at a time. That's all we can do because the more we rush, the more we worry about how fast we can go or where the end is, the more we keep our amygdala on looking for danger because we are rushing. So as an anxiety coach, I totally understand the unique challenges that are faced by people, those of you out there listening who are battling chronic stress and anxiety, panic, fear, whatever your flavor is of this turned on amygdala, this nervous system ready to launch into fight or flight. So today I really want to explore the real transformative power of mindful breathing, but doing this in everyday activities and how you can have it serve as a steadfast companion on your journey to well-being. So let's look at what we can do here. Imagine mindful breathing as a steady rhythm, almost like a rhythmic dance accompanying the chaotic dance of life. So it's simple yet profound, this practice that invites you to anchor yourself in the present moment, creating a sanctuary of calm in the middle of the storm of stress and anxiety, because it's always there that calm is inside of you. It's like the eye of the storm. Maybe you can visualize it is in that way. So coming into your center, and what is at your center is your breath. Chronic stress and anxiety often disrupt our natural rhythm of our breath really easily, and this triggers a cascade of physical and emotional reactions. These reactions keep the cycle of stress, adrenaline, fear going, making it harder and harder to get out of because we keep inflaming ourselves. We keep adding fuel to this fire of anxiety. And mindful breathing can serve as a gentle guide, helping you to reclaim control, 
not over your whole life, but over your breath and consequently your well-being. So how do we go about incorporating mindful breathing into our daily life? So I have five simple ways to have mindful breathing become a natural way of life for you. First off, we have what you can do in the morning as a ritual, like part of your morning ritual. You can start your day with a few minutes of intentional breathing, a relaxed belly. You know what I mean, the little Buddha belly, where we just relax it. We're not pushing it out. We're not tightening it up. We're just relaxing those muscles. And you can be sitting or standing or lying down and let your breath be full, but not forced. And let your exhalations, this is where I want your concentration to be with the exhalation, let it be longer and slower. Again, letting the inhale just take care of itself with your relaxed belly. And set a positive tone in this way for your day by embracing the serenity of those present moments. And it's short and it's powerful, but just by taking let's say three minutes where you do this relaxed belly breathing and you are embracing the serenity of those moments and you can carry those with you throughout the day because you know that you had them at one point. Next up, what about your commute, right? You have to get to work or off to the day, wherever you're going. And let's call it a commute with calmness. Transform your daily commute into a mindful journey. Focus on the sensation of each breath, allowing the traffic or the crowded spaces to fade into the background. You're alert and aware and putting the spotlight of your attention, though, on your breath. As you travel to your workplace or your next stop in the day, no need to take time out of your day to do this. You just add this powerful, simple practice into what you are already doing. Next up would be daytime breathing breaks. So during the hustle and bustle of the day, whether you're working at home or out in the world, or at home and in the world, (laughs) take short breaks and reconnect with your breath. It's a powerful reset button, if you will, and it can bring clarity and calmness to your work day. Use mundane moments as triggers for you to come and take this break, where you bring your attention to your breath for a mindful moment Some of these triggers could be things like when you get into your car, when you're making tea or coffee, when you're going in the break room, when you're waiting for your particular email that you can't move forward in the day without, when you're waiting for your computer to reboot. And of course, the ultimate is turning on the computer. Don't just sit there staring at it. Just give yourself a break at that time. You get the idea of what I mean. What is it that you do? Before you open your email, going to the email, before you hit that going to the email button, make that be a breathing break for moments. I'm not even talking about five minutes here, just a moment where you are noticing your breath and you reconnect with it. And as I like to say, when you are reconnecting with your breath, relax all your muscles as best you can. This will teach your mind and body that there is no danger in the current moment, and it can begin to let the amygdala stand down. Now, what about later in the day? How about mindful meals? This could also be in the middle of your day for your lunch, but let's turn to eating and turning our eating into a meditative practice. Engage all of your senses in the act of nourishing your body, savoring each bite with mindful awareness. If eating like this for the whole meal feels like it's too much 
And it does take practice, I agree. Having the first few minutes, perhaps you could set aside the first two minutes of your meal to be mindful of the food and your breath. This is also great for your digestion. And how about the evening wind down? Before bedtime, unwind with mindful breathing. Release the day's tensions that you have gathered throughout the day, even if it's just the second half of your day since your lunchtime mindful meal. You could have gathered some stress and tension in your mind and body. So release those tensions, allowing your mind and body to embrace the tranquility of the night and get a good night's rest. Make a conscious act of moving from the busy day into the night where you are preparing to move into a restful sleep. Again, what I mean by mindful breathing here is a few minutes of intentional breathing, a relaxed belly in all of these areas I talked about. And you can be sitting, standing, or lying down. And let your breath be full, but not forced. And let your exhalations be longer and slower, letting the inhale take care of itself with your relaxed belly. So I know firsthand that integrating mindful breathing into a busy routine or an already frazzled nervous system can be really, really, really challenging. So I think it's crucial to acknowledge that even small amounts of mindfulness can be significant in the changes that will be made over the long term. Again, we're talking about just laying brick at a time, peaceful, mindful, intentional brick after brick. Address the resistance that you feel about this. Even notice right now if you're feeling resistance or, yeah, but that won't work for me or whatever, I get (laughs) you. And remind yourself that this practice is a gift you offer to your own well-being. Remember that what we resist persists. So face the resistance and move through it gently. Realize that you are not alone on this journey. If you want to hear the stories of other people like you who have battled chronic stress and anxiety or are currently going through the same struggles that you are, spend some time in our group coaching membership or visit our Facebook page. Jump over to our website to see more if you want to join the group. And we'll be happy to get you more information, even if you just send an email to anxietycoachespodcast at gmail.com, because you can really begin to discover how mindful breathing, along with many of the other practices and exercises we discuss here, we have skill sheets on these in the group, and you can learn how this can become a lifeline a peaceful, calm, empowering space to keep yourself on track. Now, as an anxiety coach, I am aiming all the time on these episodes to guide you towards sustainable well-being. And mindful breathing isn't a quick fix, but a gentle companion on your path to resilience. You will be amazed how strong you can become by being able to pull yourself out of circling the wormhole, moving yourself away from that all through your breath. This is a way to embrace your well-being sustainably because the breath can put us into or out of a stress reaction. So we carry this powerful, mindful breathing with us for a lifetime. It'll start small today, brick by brick, but be patient with yourself and witness the subtle yet powerful transformations that can unfold. In the tapestry of life, where stress and anxiety may weave their threads, mindful breathing is a beacon of tranquility. As you embark on this journey, I want you to remember that each Intentional breath is a step toward reclaiming your inner calm. 
May your everyday activities become a canvas for mindful living, painting a picture of well-being and resilience. And now for today's quote. Feelings come and go like clouds in a windy sky. Conscious breathing is my anchor. And that's from Thich Nhat Hanh. I'll be back in a few more days with another podcast. Until then, be well and aloha. Thanks so much for joining us for today's episode of the Anxiety Coaches Podcast. Find more information at the anxietycoachespodcast.com. 